Hey guys, Jeremy here. It is 2018, so I'm admittedly a few days late. I'm a whole week late, but here is my first review of a film I have finally seen in 2018. And there's a few movies I'm going to have to try and see that I didn't see at the end of last year, uh, The Shape of the Water being one of them, but we will try and get to those as quickly as I can. However, I'm back from a little bit of time away from my girlfriend, so now I am here, and I'm here to review for you Insidious 4, The Last Key, or Insidious, Why the Hell Haven't You Made a Sequel to Number 2 Yet? This film is the final prequel of an unnecessary two-series set prequels to the Insidious series talking about the Elise character. Now, admittedly, Elise is actually probably one of the more interesting characters of the Insidious series. I love the first film. I pretty much appreciated the second one. The third one, while it had some interesting moments, was totally pointless. And it's just kind of this run-of-the-mill sort of idea of let's make prequels to horror movies. Annabelle did it. Ouija did it. Admittedly, Ouija was decent. And now Insidious has done it for the second time. And supposedly this is the last one. But that doesn't make any sense as we've been still waiting on the cliffhanger to whatever the hell Ghost Elise was looking at in Insidious 2. Insidious The Last Key is a film that completes the circle for Elise. We figure out more about how she started up the business with the two creepy weird dudes and we figure out how she completes her circle and this pretty much leads up right to the beginning of the first movie. What we find out is that there is a ghost sort of being in the house that she grew up in as a child and when she first started to see Ghosts. Now, admittedly, there is a lot of jump scare cliches. There's a lot of boom music, and admittedly, it really pisses you off just because of how run of the mill garbage it is. But then there are these tiny little moments that are spread out throughout the film that are like, oh, that's different. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Elise is actually pretty good. The woman is obviously racked. She's broken. The fact that she's going back to her old home, we see her go through a lot of emotional turmoil. However, everyone else is in the movie. The people of her past. These two girls who they made up with later on, they're awful actresses. Everyone in this movie is like a brain dead, limp, lip just uh, uh, deliver my lines. It's not that great. And while the scares, again, are quite generic, there are a few. Admittedly, there's one scene in a tunnel, this kind of this crawl space tunnel, that you're like, oh, this is gonna happen. And it doesn't. And then you're like, okay, all right. Oh, now this is gonna happen. It doesn't. I'm like, oh, okay. So it actually takes you for a little bit of a loop. There's actually a point that I don't know why they did it, it was really cool, but they don't really use it enough, is at one point they are walking around with a device that is a recording device that will help them hear ghosts. And at one point the audio was switched to that. And that's what we're hearing. We're hearing from the shotgun mic throughout the movie. And it actually is a really cool part, but it's literally just following her going down the stairs. And that's it. There really isn't anything to it. They don't use it for anything other than just this one moment of, oh, that's an interesting tune. While Insidious The Last Key is definitely not complete horror garbage, there was a trailer for a movie that I'm gonna be talking about soon that does look like horror garbage. It's very, very cliche. It's very run of the mill. In terms of rewatchability, in terms of standing on the precipice of what the other films had already set, the last key is probably the most forgettable one out of all of them, and that's really hard to say considering how forgettable number three was. It's so forgettable in that, in fact, I think they make a comment, an offhanded comment of the girl who they helped in the last movie. And that just proves to you there how pointless the third movie was. Anyways, guys, in the end, my rating for Insidious, the last key, is a two out of seven. It's okay, but... It's a January horror release. I really want to just bloody see the sequel to the second movie already. You've been building that up. You've had that on our goddamn toes for so long. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to do the prequel garbage. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. That's my first review of 2018. I hope you guys like this video. Know that there will be a lot of different videos coming out this year, so I'm hoping to really kind of vary it up. Otherwise, if you like this video, leave a like, and if you like my content, maybe subscribe. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Here's to a good 2018. Here's some to some good movies. We're going to get a few good movies throughout this year, definitely. Anyways, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.